Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to connect your multiple Clover brick and mortar stores with a WooCommerce shopping cart. You will be able to see your individual inventory per location online for WooCommerce. After you've signed up for your free trial, just log in. You will notice a message you have not created any actions yet. Actions are the operations you like Cosmos eSync to perform. Those include orders, inventory sync, creating products, matrix syncs. Let's create an action and you'll need to connect your domains. In this instance, we've already connected WooCommerce. For instructions on how to connect to WooCommerce, please view the information to the right and enter the information here. Continue. Now let's connect to Clover. Grant access. Give each of your locations a name. Portland, Clover. Click Next. Now choose your location, Portland, ESIC. When you click Clover, Portland, Clover is connected. Let's add another Clover account. Seattle Clover. Choose Seattle, async. Now let's choose our New York location. Click next. Click New York. And you'll see all our locations are connected. So at this point, we need to connect our Portland store with our Portland WooCommerce store. Click Connect. WooCommerce multi-locations. Send standard items and send inventory. Your first location or your warehouse that you want to designate as your main location to create products should come from one location. In this instance, I'm going to do Portland as our primary location to create products. Give a name. Hit Save. And add more actions. Create action. Clover Portland. WooCommerce. Now set entry levels for Portland. But we want to use the multi-stock locations for WooCommerce. Continue. Save action. So we got create products from Portland. Now we have inventory levels from Portland. Let's do inventory levels now from Seattle, New York. Clover. Seattle, continue. WooCommerce, send inventory levels multi stock. Seattle, send inventory levels multi stock. Now we have Seattle, Portland inventory. We need to add New York. Clover, New York, continue. Multi stock, locations, inventory levels multi stock. Locations for WooCommerce, Clover, New York. Hit save. Now we have our actions. Create products from Portland, inventory levels from Portland, inventory levels from Seattle, inventory levels from New York. At this point, you need to configure your actions. Let's go from Portland to create products. You just need to give it a timestamp. Timestamp is used for us to determine how far back to go looking for date changes in your data. If your product has changed in the database based on that timestamp, we will update those products only. Back to dashboard, actions, configure, and you'll see your saved settings here. Now let's go back to inventory levels. Let's look at send inventory levels for standard. Choose a date. We're going to go back a couple days. Hit save. Now in multi-location Woo in your WooCommerce store, follow these instructions to locate your location ID. Let's log in. Click locations. Portland is 45030. Hit save. And do the same for Seattle and New York.
Now that you've configured all your actions, we'll have to create a task to update products to our locations and inventory sync. So click, so click create task, add a single action per task unless instruct to add more. Create products from Portland. Create standard from Portland. Create the other three tasks. Portland inventory sync. Give it another friendly name, Seattle Inventory Sync. New York Inventory Sync. And hit save. You can view the actions in your tasks by just clicking on them. For example, Seattle Inventory Sync. New York Inventory Sync. With a pay plan, you can turn on your schedule and just walk away for your task every hour, set your interval that you want by the hour or the minute. Or you can click the run buttons. Let's log into locations, click products. So we have one product sitting in our Woof store. Let's add more. Let's create standard. You will not be able to update your inventory unless there are products that are available in your WooCommerce store. The unique identifier that allows us to connect your Clover point of sale with your WooCommerce store is actually your SKU. So make sure your SKUs match between both systems. Click refresh. And you'll see items that have been created. So you'll notice the items were created without inventory. That's because we need to also run our inventory only actions. We go to Ray-Ban sunglasses and look at our inventory levels per location. Click on inventory. So you see all our locations have zero inventory. Well, let's run our actions. As mentioned, we go by an inventory timestamp. And in this case, we went back only 48 hours or two days. You don't have to wait for the sync to finish. You can close out, hit refresh, give it a minute to process, run the next one and so forth. Close out, hit refresh, and now let's run New York inventory sync. Just hit refresh. Also look at New York too, for these Ray-Ban sunglasses. If we go to Ray-Ban sunglasses, You'll see stock quantity 15. Let's go to Ray-Ban. Get it. Now let's view inventory. See New York 15, Seattle 35, Portland 76. If you have any questions, please contact us at CosmoCentral.com and start the free trial today. Thank you.